What's up guys, it's Jaden, and today we're going to be installing my third monitor. Now ever since I started to build my setup, I've always had two monitors, and it's worked perfectly for me. As a streamer, having a main monitor be for gameplay, and a secondary monitor be for reading chat and alerts always worked great, but during Prime Day, I decided to make an upgrade. The purchase I made was upgrading my main monitor, and here's what I picked up. And here it is, the Asus Tough VG 2058. 280 hertz monitor and while you may be thinking to yourself 280 hertz is completely unnecessary and it is considering i only have a 2070 super and a ryzen 7 5800x the reason i bought this monitor is because if i ever upgrade to a 30 series card maybe later this year or next year i wanted to have a monitor that could potentially support 280 hertz now the current game i've been playing a lot is valorant and that game doesn't really require a lot to run i've been running the game on all low settings and i've been getting any from 400 to 500 FPS, which is perfect for this monitor. But if you take a game like Call of Duty, I can get about maybe 160 to 200 FPS, depending on what settings I'm running. Some games I'll be taking full advantage of this monitor and others I won't. Now, with the monitor out of the way, let's take a look at the mount that I got to put all three of these monitors on. In this package on the front, I can't show because it'll leak my address. It's the Vivo triple monitor mount. Now I currently have a Vivo dual monitor mount, which has worked perfectly for me but I decided to pick up one whole mount to hold all three of the monitors. I didn't want to have two separate mounts for all three of my monitors, so I decided to pick up one for all three. I thought it would look a lot better in my setup. Let's now take a look at everything that we get in both of the packages. Inside the package for the monitor, we first get an HDMI cable, a display cable, and a power cable. We also get a base for the monitor, which we won't be using. And last but not least, we get the monitor itself. Now, one thing I forgot to say is this is a 24 and a half inch monitor. My current main monitor is a 24 inch monitor, but I couldn't find any monitor that was 24 inches that fit what I was looking for. So I decided to settle with a 24 and a half inch monitor. Let's now take a look at what you get inside of the box of the monitor mount. You'll first get three Visa brackets that will be used to hold up all three of the monitors, the tools needed for this process, and some accessories to help with cable management. You'll also be given an L-shaped bracket, and this is what's going to hold up all of the monitors. You also get a little swivel arm that will be used for the third monitor. In addition to that, you can get two poles that you can screw into each other. And last but not least, you get the monitor extension arms for the bottom two monitors. With everything unboxed, let's get to work. Now this process of installing a third monitor took a lot longer than I had thought, from taking off the old monitor mount and monitors to installing the new monitor mounts and all three of the monitors, after hours of tweaking the position of all three of the monitors, I finally have them in a spot where I like them. I ran into a little bit of trouble when installing the third monitor mount, and that's when I went to screw it in, it automatically started to lean forward. So I took some old mouse pads and some rubber and put it in between the clamp and my desk, and it leveled it out a little bit. The pole is still leaning, and that's just because of the weight of all three of the monitors, but I did help that by adding a little bit of rubber and some old mouse pad, and it also helps to protect the surface of my desk. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I mentioned that on my mic arm, between both of the blocks, I used some old mouse pad, and that helps to protect the surface of my desk, so I just did the same thing that I did with my mic arm to my monitor stand. When it came to installing the third monitor on top, I ran into a little bit of a problem. You see, inside the box, they give you this little mount, but this does not work at all because you you have nowhere to move the monitor. It's not like the monitor extension arm that you would have on the bottom two monitors. So what I ended up doing is I took the monitor extension arm from my old mount and put it on my third monitor mount and used that to mount my third monitor. It worked perfectly because it gave me room to actually move that top third monitor. Now the only downside to using a dual monitor mount on a single monitor is you have an extra arm just swinging around and I couldn't unscrew it because it was Loctite. So I just tried to bend it and hide it as much as I possibly could. If you guys saw my setup tour video, 
a lot of you guys wanted me to turn my vertical monitor the other way so the bezel was facing outside. The reason I don't do that is because if I turned it that way where the bezel was facing outward, I would have to reroute all my HDMI cables. And number one, they're not long enough. And number two, they would be extending out from the monitor. It works great the way I have it. And as much as I would love to turn my vertical monitor so the bezel is facing outward, I just can't do that. The monitor that I picked up on Prime Day was 24 and a half inches, but my old current monitor was 24 inches. Now, the reason that they actually line up very well is because my old current monitor has bigger bezels. I didn't realize that until I started installing it and I was like, oh, this is actually gonna look better than I thought. I thought that the new monitor that I picked up would be a little bigger than my third monitor, but the fatter bezels on my old current monitor actually made up for that and it looks pretty good. The first time I sat down with all three of the monitors, it kind of felt like I was in a spaceship. It just felt like there was monitors everywhere. It's super convenient. It's gonna be great for multitasking, whether it be editing or having my stream open so I can have Spotify and Discord on the top monitor and my chat on the left monitor and my main gameplay on the main monitor. Now I'm a beginner when it comes to mounting monitors. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, let me know down below in the comments and I would love to reply to them. I hope you guys went on to enjoy this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe down below. And if you guys would like to catch me on my live streams, I'll leave my Twitch link down below in the description. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Few CT, so if it's still CT. That was the best arrow kish ever.